Welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how to configure multiple logins in a load test of a site that uses form authentication. In this video, we will learn the same for all other types of authentications, which we collectively call server authentication, as they have to be handled differently. An example of server authentication is Kerberos or NTLM. One way of determining that your website uses server authentication is if the credentials are entered not into the web form, but into a browser-specific dialog. However, this is not always the case. Sometimes server credentials are cached on a test machine and the login dialog does not appear. The challenge is that you can't always determine if your website uses server authentication. Fortunately, Stress Stimulus automatically detects server authentication, so you do not have to worry about that. Let's use an example. I enabled server authentication on our eStore website. Let's start the recording. Click Record. Type the test case name and click Next. Enter the URL and click Record to launch the browser. The browser login dialog appears. I enter the credentials and click OK. After the home page is loaded, I will stop recording as we only want to focus on the login process. Back in the test wizard, Stress Stimulus detected server authentication and automatically added the authentication step. If your website uses form authentication, this step will not appear in the wizard. Let's click on the authentication tab. Enter the credentials that you used during recording. Otherwise, 401 errors will most likely happen. If you wish to run a load test with multiple logins, enter additional credentials or import a CSV file with the domain username and password. If more than one set of credentials is specified, they will be used with each VU in round robin order. Now let's run verify. There are no errors. Let's recap. Server authentication does not require the four steps of parameterization which we used in the previous video. Instead, the test wizard will present the server authentication grid where you enter a single or multiple sets of credentials. Thank you for watching.